Hello, this is the third video in the Calculus 3 series on integration using partial fractions for OCR Pure Core Further Mathematics. And it covers the integrating of partial fractions with denominator AX plus B, CX plus D. It often helps to rewrite the integral of an algebraic fraction in partial fractions. First, we need to check that the order of denominator is greater than the order of the numerator. If not, then we'd do an algebraic division and integrate the remainder using partial fractions. Once we have our partial fractions and possibly an integer, we would split the integral and handle as two or more separate integrals. In this example here, let us just check. Well, x minus 9 is linear and x plus 1 multiplied by x minus 4 is quadratic, so we won't have to do a division first. We need to split the fraction x minus 9 over x plus 1 x minus 4 into partial fractions. We've already done this in a previous video, so we will not spend time doing it again. So here we have the partial fractions, which we would now integrate So using the result, standard result, for 1 over x plus k, shown in the box above, this would give us 2 ln x plus 1 minus natural log of x minus 4. I'm just going to use one constant of integration. If I wanted to, I could combine those logs using the log laws. Here we have a second example. Again, I'm going to start by checking the order of a numerator and denominator. Here we have that 5x squared is quadratic of the numerator, and the order of the denominator is also quadratic. So I will need to do a division. So I'm dividing by x plus 2 times x minus 3, which is x squared minus x minus 6 and it's 5x squared so it's going to go 5 times and I will have a remainder of 5x plus 30 then when I come to integrate I'll be integrating integer 5 plus then 5x plus 30 over x plus 2x minus 3 so I need to split that latter bit into partial fractions. From previous videos you can see that I will be splitting that into some coefficient a over x plus 2 plus some coefficient b over x minus 3. So as we did in previous videos we'd multiply up by the denominators and set x equal to minus 2 giving me 20 equals minus 5a a equals minus 4 and with x equal to 3 would be 45 equal to 5b so b will equal 9 Thus I would be integrating 5 minus 4 over x plus 2 plus 9 over x minus 3. It doesn't really matter if you write these as separate integrals or as terms within one integral, as long as you remember to integrate the terms independently. Using standard results then, this would give us 5x plus 9 
doing x minus 3 minus 4 then x plus 2 plus the integration constant and I can tidy that up a little if I wish You may feel it's really only worth combining the logs for smaller powers or when evaluating a numerical result. So in summary, but first we will always check the denominator is a higher power than a numerator. If it's not, then we must do a division to find the integer quotient and then use the remainder, which we will split um, into partial fractions. Once you've done that, you can then split the initial integral and handle them as separate integrals. For linear factors, you will get logs, or natural logs, in the result, which can, can be combined into a single log, but it's probably only worth doing if the coefficients are relatively simple. In the next video, we will look at integrating partial fractions with denominator of the form ax plus b, cx plus d, all squared.